Welcome back to another video on the channel, I'm Josiah, and this is your guide to one for all on Bakuno Roblox. Okay, so now for one for all's moveset. The Q is called Texas Smash, and you channel all of your energy into your arm, and you create a large tunnel of air. This can take out multiple heroes and villains at once if you're strong enough and the villains are weak enough. Now for the Z, it's called Carolina Smash and you dash forward with a double hand chop that creates a large X of air. This can take out 2-3 to three villains at once depending on your placement. Okay, now the X, it's called New Hampshire Smash and basically you boost yourself forward while creating a large tunnel of air behind you. This is mainly used for mobility and combos, it's not gonna be taking out a lot of villains itself so definitely rely on it with combos. Now for the C, it's called Detroit Smash and you hit the ground and it creates a large vortex of air. This can take out one to two villains at a time depending on your placement. It's a very strong move on its own but it's definitely way better in combos. So now for our V, what we're going to do is press V, it creates a large shockwave of air that takes out multiple villains while dealing high damage to bosses. And it's definitely enhanced with plus ultra like all the other moves and I will be demonstrating this now. So for this first combo, we're going to be using our United States Smash to boost him up in the air, use our C to keep him in the air, and then when he comes back down, we finish him off with the Q. Okay, so now for our QZC combo. We're going to boost him back with Q, he's going to come running at us, we're going to dash through him with our Z, then we're going to use our C, and our Q recharges relatively fast so we can just finish him off with the Q again and it, really there's nothing else to that combo. Okay, so now for this combo we're going to be using our X and our Z. This is a more mobility focused combo whereas the other ones were more fighting combos. So we're going to start off with our X, boost ourselves up into the air, and then shoot ourselves forward with the Z. There's really nothing more to this combo, it's just going to get you more air time and more distance. So now moving on to bosses. We're going to do almost every villain boss and most of the hero bosses. We're not going to do All Might or Endeavor or Overhaul. Most of those guys are way higher level than me and I just really shouldn't be fighting them. If you want to, just keep doing these combos that I showed you. So we're going to be doing a QZCV combo. If we can't finish them off with our QZC, we'll finish them off with the V. It's as simple as that. So starting with Midnight, we're going to boost her back with our Q. Dash through her with our Z, boost her up with our C, she slept us, it's fine, we can do our V, our Q, our Z, and she's dead. Okay, so now moving on to Tamura. I'm not including present Mike on the boss list because we did our combos on him earlier so it's kind of pointless to do it again. We're going to be doing the same combos we did on Midnight and it's bound to be quicker because Tamura has less health. So now we're going to boost him with back with our Q, dash through with our Z, boost him up with our C. Now if he's not dead yet we can just finish him off with our V or wait for your Q to recharge, whichever one you prefer. Okay so now moving on to Dobby. Dobby's attacks are very reliant on area damage so as long as we circle around Dobby and use our ranged attacks we'll be fine. So we're going to do our Q, boost him back, dash through with our Z, boost him up with our C, use our V, and now wait for him to hit the ground and start chasing us again, do our Q, do our Z, and our C. Now if it takes you longer, just keep doing that combo over and over again, and he will die eventually as long as you're staying mobile and not running into his attacks like I did mid-USA Smash. Okay, so now moving on to Musky. 
like Dobby, he has very area damage reliant attacks. He does have some medium range attacks like our Q, but as long as we can keep him confused by staying above him and around him, we can kill him pretty easily. He's not going to be like most bosses we fought earlier, because he does his quirk lets him absorb a lot of damage, not as much as shock absorption, but he could definitely absorb more damage than a lot of bosses. So we're going to start off with our Q, bait out his first attack, it hit me actually, do our Z, dash through him, do our C, boost him up, then our V. Now in one go it obviously didn't kill him, so we wait for our United States Smash to be spawned, do our Q again, trigger out that, then do our Z, C, and then wait for our Q to recharge. RV. Now he does give you 300,000 XP so it is worth the while fighting him but you should probably do it with friends if you're my level or lower level because he is one of the stronger sighted bosses. Okay so now moving on to Gangorka. His quirk is more direct and it doesn't have a lot of area damage attacks so as long as we can circle around him while using our moves we can kill him easily like the previous bosses. We're going to start off with Q like the rest of them. See, he does his ultrasonic burst. We dash through with our Z. Then we do our C. And then when that Z goes away, we do our V. Wait for that to despawn. Do our Q. Do our Z. Now, his ultrasonic burst can track you, so you definitely want to stay mobile like I said earlier. Do our Q again, do our Z, and finish him off their C possibly. Nope, we gotta do one more Q. Nope, he's a lot stronger than I thought he would. So we wait for our C to recharge, and I definitely underestimated his power. He can absorb a lot of damage. Let's see actually how much health he has. So. Gangworker actually has 35,000 health, only 10,000 more than Tamura, so I'm definitely surprised that he absorbs so much attack. Okay, so now moving on to Nomu. Nomu has 40,000 health, so he's definitely going to absorb more damage than a lot of the weaker bosses such as Tamura, Gangworker, Dobby, etc, etc. Now, we definitely need to focus on mobility for Nomu because he is so fast and once he hits you it's like a boulder slamming on you. You definitely don't want to get hit by Nomu but it's not the end of the world if you do. Just make sure you focus on mobility. We're going to be doing our QZCV combo. Uh, it's definitely not going to kill him after like 2 or 3 rinse and repeats. We just have to basically brute force him. Now we did get hit and it took away 60% of my health. We're going to be doing our United States Smash. Now I can't see through that so we want to get in like the middle of it so we have a clear battlefield. We're going to do our Z again, our C. Nomu doesn't usually stay in our C Tornado like most of the bosses do so definitely be careful of that. We're going to do our Z again, wait for our C to recharge. Do our Q, do our V, do our Z, do our C, and then our Q. Now he's getting pretty low health so we can probably finish him off with like one more combo. Do our C, and our Q once again. And he does give you 400,000 XP, so if you are strong enough, definitely start farming Nomu. Okay, so now moving on to Mount Lady. This is the last boss we're going to be fighting in this video, because I'm just not high enough level to be fighting the higher level bosses, such as Endeavor, All Might, All for One, and Overhaul. And it's just kind of pointless, like, if you want to go fight them, just use the combos I've been showing you, and it should be pretty fun. 
Now, Mount Lady does have 40,000 health like Nomu, but you definitely want to stay away from Mount Lady. She deals heavy damage when you touch her. So let's start off with our Q. Do our Z. Our C. Wait for that to clear. Do our V. Do our Q. Do our Z. Do our C. Now, like Nomu, she doesn't get sucked up into the tornado, so don't be so focused on the C. Now we're gonna do our Z. Do our C. Do our V again. Our Q. Do our Z. Now that didn't hit her, but that was just meant for getting over her. Now let's do our C again. Our Q. Okay, so she's resetting. We went way too far, so let's just keep going. Wait for our Q to restart. Do our C. And like Nomu, she also gives you 400,000 XP, so if you're going down the villain route, definitely go for Mount Lady. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something of value, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you haven't noticed yet, I am wearing the new NJ merch. It will be coming out in our group, NJ's In, within the next month, so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you in the next one.